All right, we're back from outer space. Actually, we're back in outer space. Woo-hoo! Oh, what I was just saying is Michael's asking me if I was gonna go get the new Doom. And my answer was I was gonna wait until it was on sale. Because nowadays it's like, if you don't have, if you don't have like a shit ton of disposable income, mm. Then, yes, you can touch me, boing. Unless if you're reviewing them as early as possible, there's really not a, I feel like there's rarely, you rarely want to, um, it's, there, there's not a whole, there's not a big point to going to, it's not that smart to go out and buy a bunch of $60 games when they are usually able on oh, the good on sale really quick. Why just because I'm a dirty PC gamer and their Steam sales are a thing. And I just have a shitty attitude towards it. I mean some games you're like, oh I I gotta play this now. Like for example I got Fallout 4. I didn't pre order it because you don't pre order games if you're smart. But yeah. um I did get it like, you know pretty like right away when it came out and I was like there are the technical problems are minimal. That's usually, like, if it's a $60 game and you hear there's a shit ton of technical problems, you're like, I'll wait. I'll wait until they fix it, and then maybe it's on sale. But, <laughs> you're, <laughs> I can't, you're like trying not to hate that soda. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little sour. It is. I've barely drank any of mine. I was just like, hmm. I wonder if that's any good. That's good, though. Alright, we're back to Gold Reef Galaxy. It smells good. And then you drink it. <laughs> it doesn't really smell like anything, honestly. To me, it does. To me, it's like, oh, you go up, you go up for a tasty taste for that drink. Mm -hmm. And then you drink it, and it's like. No, oh, speaking of which, I was uh, speaking with Eric about something earlier. So, you guys all know that uh, television classic, VeggieTales, right? Okay. Do you folks remember the episode of VeggieTales? Where uh, Joshua was leading the Hebrews, you know, out of Egypt and whatnot after Moses left? Joshua. And they came across this fortress filled with these strange peas that like to dump purple drink over the side of whoever comes back. I love how it's like the story of the Bible and it's all serious and you use like a real name and then and then the peas and then it's like oh yeah we're talking about animated fucking vegetables I forgot <laughs> Eric are you saying that veggie VeggieTales is not perfect? It's such a shock to your it's like a physiological shock to your body when you're talking about like like a story that's like sounds like a, like a real story like a real narrative at least and all of a sudden you're like hmm peas there are peas and asparagus, and fucking carrots. Nice one. Oh yeah, there was that carrot girl. You remember that? Shut the fuck up, Michael. You remember that one Christmas special? Where, <laughs> no, I there don't. There was like the toy no. that saved Christmas. No, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're mad that you remember I that. I get mad at because every time you like remember that episode, I always do. <laughs> I always end up remembering. Remember it. that one where Nebuchadnezzar owned like a factory? Yes, and the chocolate bunny. Yes, that's the one. I didn't even remember that part. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself with this with this shitty soda bottle. I'm gonna smash it. Whack myself over the head. I'm gonna whack myself. Whack. And I'm whack myself again. And I will, I'll forget all about the Veggie Tales episode. We're, that was that was supposed to be Nebuchadnezzar. That's that's because I know that story of like there's uh, they were supposed to um worship the statue or mm -hmm. whatever. Basically, pagan religions yeah. from the Bible's perspective. And um, I I can only assume that was during the Babylonian exile. Is that the secret? That was the secret star. You crazy motherfucker. Nope. Is it just me or? Are a lot of these stars like absurdly easy to get? Yeah, this I feel like this is an easy galaxy, which is why I'm not fucking with you. It's like that uh, one with the song, with that song that you like, like got hard oh, over. Garden. Yeah, that one. There's like no point in me fucking with you. There's nothing to do. It's once you get to like Battle Rock Galaxy and those kinds, those kinds of stars. Mm -hmm. 
Once the, so once the, now, once the one, the like one how the camera comments, stuck so. behind the stick. I've never had that happen. I've never had camera yeah. problems with this game. That's the first. I'm um, pretty rare. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, Michael's turning into a demon. Somebody must have smacked smacked him with a werewolf skull. Oh my Everybody go watch. Everybody go werewolf. watch Arizona Werewolf. I, is it Arizona Werewolf? Yeah, I think that's the I thought the it was just title. called Werewolf. I, I'm... There's a MST3K of it, so you don't have to just sit there and watch the shitty movie. And if you don't know what MST3K is, you're welcome. Just go watch one. Yeah. Although I do feel like it's... Sometimes it feels a little try hard, but for the most part, yeah. MST3K is like consistently funny. Because it feels like they're making, they they have to constantly make jokes. Though I think well, they are pre-written. Yeah, well they are. Scripted. Well, I know that, but it does feel like sometimes they're constantly doing it. But it might be because the only last thing that I saw that was MST3K, like the last thing I saw in a while was the Truck Farm one, which is like a short. Yeah. So they sort of had to make make pack a dense. I don't know if when they do movies it's the same. Mm, or if they're spread nice. out a little bit more. I mean, there are. Sh I mean, they're always really shitty movies. Yep. Although, I accuse my parents is, is I, I don't know if I'd call that shitty, like it's a bad movie, like whatever. But it's just, like, weird. <laughs> it's not, like, like bad. Like, I Manos, actually kind of like it. Just Ma a little. Manos, Manos, Hands of Fate? That's yeah. a bad movie. Hey, Manos, get Arizona, those hands Arizona. of fate at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. <laughs> get those hands of fate at 10 and 2. <laughs> 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 what was it? Mix it up, Fifi. <laughs> The little poodle. And then the poodle gets killed. Torgo's pizza. Yeah, that was the... It's, it's stupid. It's, it's So, stupid like, I, I keep telling you about poodle. those, those, that red letter media, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. He yeah. knocked me over here. The guys, that I showed you. That one video. Well, you, yeah, you've only seen the one video. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I've seen many. But, like, the, true. The, but the, I, they but have little skits, to too. To Just, and they, they remind me a lot of, of the, the MST3K, MST3K ones. Skits. Because, like... They really have nothing to do with anything. They're just sort of there to be for the sake of being there. Yeah. But they still like take them so seriously, and they have that same sort of dry edge to them. Mm -hmm. Like there, there's like a part where like the house they're in, right? Yeah. It suddenly floats out, crashes off of a cliff, and starts floating on a lake. And then there's just a few episodes where they're just like, "Oh no, Mike, we're stuck at the bottom of this lake. How are we gonna review movies now?" <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Plinkett has all the mov movies that are coming out in bootleg DVDs, so we'll be fine. And then like the the just, one guy, just for the sake of having that, yeah, that explanation. Thing. That's so where weird. Where am I taking the? Are they funny guys? Yeah. Maybe I should just watch that. Some of One stuff. of my favorite things that they do. I like to watch <laughs> stuff in the background lately. So like one of my favorite things that they do is that uh, you know the Mike guy, the guy who's, who's sort of like drier and doesn't have the beard. Does he have the black hair? Yeah. Yeah. That's Mike, and yeah, one of my favorite things he does is like when something goes wrong, he goes, "Oh, fuck!" Like he's like, <laughs> like in the movie. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it did seem a little bit, I like, I don't know how different, because the, the Red Letter Media, the video that I showed Michael, and it was the only one that I've seen by them, was based off of Jack and Jill. And mm. the reason I found it so interesting was it because it sort of chronicled, like, all of, like, the, it, it, it like, is a really good prime example of the shit that Adam Sandler does, which is, like, oh my get God. all his friends together and just do, like, make really high budget movies that don't need a high budget and then put a shit ton of product placement in it so they get free stuff and that's like all the, all the companies are in bed with each other and then they they like do a really good job of like showing that off and but they did seem like funny guys so i just don't know like what kind of content in general what it's generally yeah. like usually it's just like they go watch a movie and then they just sort of talk about it I just liked how they were like, here's, I made a list of the things I thought was going to happen. And here's <laughs> what happened and here's what didn't. I thought there was going to be this scene and it's like, you know, one of the shit. Like, he, like imagine an Adam Sandler comedy and they like tried to guess what kind of like, like little bits that would be in the scene. And you're like, yeah, that totally happens in a shit ton of movies. I don't and know. Like there's going to be a part where uh, Jill shows up to work and embarrasses Jack. <laughs> yeah. And then that stuff like that. And then the like, worst part. Was that none of that shit even happened? It's 
So it's just a boring movie where nothing happens. <laughs> I just, but I just like the fact that they were trying to guess. Yeah. And that, uh, usually they, that's funny. usually they don't do that. Usually they just sort of watch it and just sort of talk about it. Yeah. yeah. And then like the the guy who plays Mr. Plinkett, Rich Evans, like he Miss, usually makes Mr. Plinkett like a blind guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's an old like a. They have like another review series where Mr. Plinkett like usually reviews like Star Wars movies. Okay. And um, Star Wars movies. Yeah, the Star Wars. Don't you don't you run out of those after? Uh... Well, he makes like like if you think my reviews are long, the Mr. Plinkett reviews are like an hour, three hours a pop for each. Three hours prequel a pop. Film. Like he reviewed the prequels and. Said everything. I, I do I, I'm know. Not I do it. know that I, I have heard of reviews of, especially the prequels, that are like absurdly wrong. Who's this fucking Jenga tower? Can we talk about this, this is, Jenga that tower. That is a Jenga tower. That's a fucking Jenga tower. Hey Jenga, whoever, whatever company owns Jenga, who's the sponsor? Probably Mattel. Come on, sponsor Zebros Play. It'll be the best career move you've ever made. Don't get a play PlayStation. Get a Prey Station. <laughs> is, that, is, that a, is that a real thing? Yeah, it's a real thing that Christians say. No, they shut the fuck up. No, no, they do not. That is absolute bollocks. Sometimes you are surprisingly good at lying to me. Sometimes maybe, maybe I'm just too. No, that, that's something that nice people actually sometimes. say. I don't believe you. Well, I mean, Ethan told me about it, but that is okay. Yeah, see, there it, is. there it is. There it is. There it is, right there. Ethan told me about it. Ethan was fucking with you. No, no, Ethan was so not you, fucking you with you. You are me. Go more ask naive him. than I am. Go, go ask Ethan right now. You are more naive than I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I never thought you were less night, more naive than me. Thank you. Well, sometimes some stuff, because you're a smart guy, but sometimes some things just go right over your head. Well, you know. Like, for example, the fact that so anybody says, don't get a PlayStation, get a PlayStation, <laughs> unironically. Like, think about it, you but fucking someone, idiot. Someone else think about it! <laughs> someone else once said, uh, Jesus Christ is my nit. <laughs> unironically. But his light shines through ya. <laughs> I like how you smacked my tummy just now. I did, because you almost said it, and now I'm gonna have to fucking do something about it. I, although, granted, if if I bleep it out, it'll make it sound like you actually said it. True. <laughs> but now I'm talking about it, so it's too late. You yep. know. Can we talk about how there's that one goldfish bag that says when it grains? What, what? If you stand out in the soaking grain, you're gonna get all wheat? <laughs> wheat. And like, do you pronounce the H? No, I don't. On purpose? Not. I, well, yeah, I do it on purpose. Whenever I, whenever I say wheat or whip or <laughs> words like that, I do it on. I'm doing it on purpose. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't like seriously say, "What's up?" <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of WH words that I'm like completely blanking. Why not? Uh, so, Michael, how about that Pokemon Sun and Moon? I don't know your opinions on it, because I haven't watched any of those cast. cast. Well, what do you know about it, Eric? Um, the game. The game? Yeah. I know what the starters look like. I know that it's like, people are like, which one's cooler? The owl or the, um, the fire cat? And then there's also memes about how the stupid seal is like, oh, nobody likes me. Which I think is kind of funny. <laughs> um, so I know what the stars are. I know that it takes place in like a tropical island. It takes place in Hawaii. Like, like literally Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii and. Because I know that most aren't most regions based off of Japanese. It's based islands. on Hawaii as well. Right. It's called the Alola region. Oh. Well, I knew it was called Alola. I only put it together now that it's like, oh, Aloha. <laughs> Um, which is weird. Aren't haven't all the gen, like all the uh, regions been based off of Japanese islands? Not all of them. Owen was based on the, the U.S. Really? Yeah. I thought they were all based on of Japanese islands. Okay. Only the only the first one was, as far as I know. And then the one from Gen Six was based off of France. Cal's the first one. Get out of here, Michael. Come on. Say it. 
The first one? Yeah, what's the first region called, Michael? Kanto. Good boy! I was worried you didn't know. It's, Ka it's Kanto? Johto? Poem? Uh, Sino. Unova. Yeah, Sino. Kalos. And Alola. I don't remember the first three. And Alola. I, although I do remember, like, Sino. Look at that wet ground that's textured on. That's supposed to be white ground. Yeah, because the fucking. <laughs> How about that Wii, though? Dawido. No. Oh, hey guys, how about that Nintendo NX? Yep, that's totally coming out in 2016. Is is that just is that the actual name of the console? It's the prototype name. Okay, so it's Dolphin. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's the equivalent of Dolphin. I mean, but Eric, apparently. not the emulator. There was an interview Project with Dolphin. Nintendo, and they said that oh, that here it's at Nintendo we care less about specs than we do about content. And it's just like, the whole fucking reason they should were be supposed able to, to be do making... both. <laughs> you should be able to do both. The whole you reason you want to be competitive, were... you kind of want to do both. Granted, that yeah, was one of the other two don't content. <laughs> so, <laughs> alright. Alright, don't Huge worry guys. Huge Sony and Microsoft. Oh, Christ. What? Oh, it got, got disconnected, because... Oh, that's when you're B, you can just fucking fly, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> wow, what? Even the boss in this world, I can't do anything. <laughs> I mean, I could. Ooh, I, ooh, I, ooh, 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 ooh. I think this is the worst. The worst. What, what, what do you think is the worst, like, boss in this game? Um. I think I'll probably use this guy. I feel like that that ice guy on Free oh, Fire. Oh, Yeah, he's pretty bad. Am I crazy? Maybe mechanically it was alright, but this guy's just like shooting bubbles at you. And you're a bee. He's, and he's a mole. Mm -hmm. It's a little. It's a little stupid way. Oh no. You don't even have to be a bee, do you? Nope. You don't have Eric to be. Eric had an opportunity to fuck me over there and chose not to do it. Yeah, it's not like it's not worth it. Let's get to the good stuff. That's, that's my mentality. My mentality is when we're in galaxies like this. Let's sit back, let's talk about not VeggieTales. Have a conversation, and then wait till you get to the horrible galaxies. We had 64 stars. Hit to the stars. Buy candy bar. Or inventions. The I know what you're doing until mine. you started the second line of it. Canine. <laughs> Rescues <laughs> the day from sure destruction. Shut all right, all right, that's enough. This is the theme song for Good Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> I forget. Was there a little car line? Question this of the is the day. worst. Yeah, what's the question of the day? Uh, did you grow up with Jimmy Neutron? Share your Jimmy Neutron memories like in the comments people, below. Most people who watch this are from our generation. Share share your Jimmy Neutron memories with the plus, hashtag, plus, hashtag Jimmy memories. Plus or minus five. Plus or minus five years. That's mm. who watches this. 20 plus, plus, and minus, plus or minus five. Mm. And if you're older or younger than that, what's up? How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? Look at these, look at these fuckers. That big boy is ruining our fun. See? <laughs> I like that. This guy's faster than a torpedo, see? <laughs> why are That's they... just one awesome loop of an ocean, see? But that big hole is the... causing trouble and keeping us out of it, the... see? Why are there the penguins? Like, 30s gangsters. Wait, Jamie, I'm in the 30s. Fight a... They're fighting a power star, but there's something freaky in that water. When... Boy, I'm going when... in. When was the prohibition? 30s? 40s? Yeah. Uh, 29 it started. Yeah, so 30s. Early 30s. So I was right. It's I was right. The first time. 